last kind of program I'm going to create in this tutorial is a plugin program. A plugin program will allow you to send MIDI from the MPC Touch to an instantiated software instrument or plugin in the software. These can be VST, AU, third party plugins, or the ones that come with the MPC software. So I'm going to go to a new unused track, and then on the main screen, I'm going to touch this little socket, and that's representative of a plugin program. And here in the plugin area, I'm going to double tap where it says plugin, and this will bring up the menu so I can choose my virtual instrument. I can choose an instrument by manufacturer, or I can touch here and choose by type. I'm going to choose by manufacturer, and I'm going to touch here on the plus beside Air Music, and I'm going to choose Hybrid 3. Now I'm going to hit Select. So now I've instantiated the Hybrid 3 as my plugin. And if I actually want to see the plugin, I'll go here in the software and right down here where it says plugin, I'm going to click on this little E and it's going to open up the plugin so I can see it and manipulate it if I need to. And from the plugin window, I'm going to choose a preset. So I'm going to go here to the top and click here. And then I'm going to come down to soft pads and go over to 01 Simple Giant. Now with this plugin, I'm going to play some chords over top of my sample. And the sound of this patch is a string sound, so I'm going to go ahead and name this track Strings. Oops, I need a end there. Okay. So now the track is named. Let me go ahead and play the chord progression. Cool. So now I'm ready to record that in. So I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to hit play start and I'll get a one bar count in. I'm going to close out the plugin and then you'll see here the chords that I played and you'll notice that they're not quite falling on the grid line. I played whole note block chords and I want to time correct them so that they're closer to the downbeat or the closest quarter note but not exactly on it to keep some of the feel of my performance. So I'm going to go to time correction and I'm going to set it to quarter notes. But I'm going to adjust the strength. When the strength is at 100, it will pull my notes exactly to the nearest quarter note. But I'm going to adjust this down to about, I don't know, let's say 75. This setting will still pull my notes closer to the quarter note to help correct the timing, but it won't snap it exactly, making it feel very mechanical. So I'm going to touch do it. And as you can see, the notes are a little bit closer to the downbeats or the quarter notes but not exactly on them. As you can see, this one is a little ahead of the beat. This one is also a little ahead. Uh, this one maybe a little behind, might be right on it, and this one looks like it's almost exactly on it. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but I soloed the track by touching solo at the bottom. I can also mute the track from here. I'm gonna go ahead and unsolo it. Cool. So I've used a drum program, a key group program, and now a plug-in program. And in the next video, I want to talk about arranging it into a song using song mode.